If you take a lot of photos and videos and you use Google Photos, you need to see how easy it is to put them together into what is now called highlight videos. It used to be called the movie maker. I want to show you how to do it and how it's changed on the web version and the mobile versions. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. You can create highlight videos using the web version on a computer of Google Photos. First, I want to show you the photos and videos that I have picked out. These are all from our visit to London recently, so be careful which way you look when you cross the street. There's a video on that. There's this wonderful old train and a video. Now, these are just photos, but I want you to notice that they are motion photos. So if I open one of these photos, it plays a couple seconds of motion. You'll see why that's important in a minute. And here with this swan as well. And notice some of them have sound. Some of the sound is important and some not so much. So where do we start? Just like the old movie maker, you can start just by selecting the images that you want in your movie. And I'm going to select all of these. There's three videos. You click the plus. And then instead of movie, it's highlight video. Now this looks fairly similar to how it used to be. One thing I want to change, all but one of my elements are in horizontal landscape format. So I click this little button down here to say I don't want it portrait, I want it landscape. So in the video, you see the section up here where there's a length of video. I think that could have gone for a little bit longer. All I have to do is drag that over. And same with the train. And that's probably good. In this clip, we have competing sound. We have the background music and the sound in the video. What can we do? There's three dots here and we can mute the video. You have to either have background music or not for the whole video. So our only choice here, if you want one set of sounds, is to mute the video. These were all just photos, remember. And yet, look at all the motion that's in the photos. I love that. This last one, I don't think I like, so I'm just going to remove it. And now we have highlight video with video clips, still shots that have motion, and music. You click Save, and in a few minutes, you will have a rendered highlight video. Now let's take a look on the mobile device. Now I'm going to create that same highlight video using the phone. This happens to be my iPhone, but it works just the same on the Android. Open up Google Photos. I am going to find that an album of the videos and photos that I want to put in it. I will select them all and then tap the plus and highlight video. I want it to be in landscape mode, so I tap that little button and choose 16.9 rather than 9.16. Then let's take a look at what it looks like. It's on the road. Look right. <laughs> Still look. <laughs> the first thing you notice is that it's a horizontal layout of the timeline of the videos and photos. So it's, you have to get used to a new way of working with it. If I want to adjust how much of that video shows, I have to tap on it. That expands that one video piece. Now I can move the end over to where I want it. Then you tap off of it in order to go back to the shortened timeline. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And now this one is a photo. And notice there is no motion in the photo. I showed you how a motion photo shows up on the computer, but it just doesn't do it. But where they've taken away, they have given. And it's in this thing called motion. And you have the choice of no motion or pan and zoom. So you can't have the motion from the motion or live photo, but you can have some just in and out pan and zoom. So same thing with this one. You're not going to see the swan moving, but we can at least make the picture pan and zoom.
So that's how you work with this horizontal timeline. You tap on an item, you tap off it. You tap on the next item, you tap off it. You tap on the next item, etc., etc. When you're on an item, you can choose to turn on, pan, and zoom. If you want to move an item, you touch and hold and then just drag it to the place where you want it. If you want to remove an item, you tap it and then remove. To get music, you tap on the music. I think I'll go with this one. When you're done, you tap save. And it will take a minute. You'll get a notice when you have a completed highlight video. So this is a movie of Jim and Chris for 2024. I want to show you how easy that is to make. And I'm going to do this on the phone. The phone's movie maker has one little feature that I think is better than what you get on the computer. A couple things have changed. If you've done this before and you were distressed to find it missing, two things have changed. One, they used to call it movies and you would find the movie maker. Two, it used to be under a menu called library that doesn't exist anymore. A word of learning about Google Photos, things are always changing. Almost always, the feature is there, it's just moved. So an automatic highlight video, I'm going to show you. On the phone, you tap the plus at the top. And I'll bet you this might change too, because that is not intuitive. You tap the plus and choose highlight video. Now here's the magic. I can just tap on Jim's face, tap on Chris's face, tap on 2024, and that's all I have to do. Preview, and it's gonna make a highlight video of what it thinks are the best pictures of Jim and Chris over 2024. And it will also add music automatically. And the extra feature, do you notice when a photo is on there, it kind of zooms in and out? That's what the phone can do that the computer can't. And if you don't like the music it chose, you tap the little music button and you can try all sorts of other options and add, add your own. You can also, let's say, I like the pictures. You can save your highlight video, then you can share it with a link, send the link to your friend, they will be impressed. I want to do one more automatic movie. I want you to imagine that you're in the car on the way to an anniversary party of a couple who are good friends of yours. They said don't bring gifts, but you want to do something. Even as long as you're a passenger in the car, <laughs> watch what you could do right on your phone. I just go into Google Photos. I tap the plus and choose highlight video. Then I find my friends. I have to tap on the little person head down here. And there are our married friends and add. I could also specify some dates, but I don't want to. I just want all of the pictures we have of them. And I tap preview. And that is all I have to do. It has created a movie, added music, notice the pan and zoom, and it's created a one minute. I can save that, and then it tells me it will take a minute, and I have seen this process take anywhere from 30 seconds to two days. 
but I expect that this is going to come up real quick. That didn't take much time at all. That was about the 30 second one. And there's my video. And I can now tap the share button, create link, and link copied. Now I can go send an email to our friends and they will be able to watch this video before we even arrive at the party. What an entrance.